Howdy, my name is Wyatt Holiday, and I'm a real cowboy actor. You're listening to the Cowboy Boys Podcast with the Hebrew Bucket Rude, Shane Smith, and his native companion guide, Mac Shaven Bear Arthur. Cowboy Boys is the only podcast for boys who are into cows. Cowboy Boys. You. It's an internet rumor I heard. <laughs> you opened up on Tinder with, sorry, your lack of. Hey, what if hard. it works? Then I help her life out, and <laughs> you're the get, hero. We get married, and then we have a. Trace Leche's cake at our wedding. <laughs> you know, if you stop drinking or eating dairy, and then is, dude. Uh, I heard that. I don't know. I've it, I've heard it works. I've stopped eating dairy for the most part, except for cheese, and my life is much better for it. I can't believe I got lactose intolerant in my old age. That happens what the to fuck? a lot of people, dude. It sucks N- ass. Not us Hispanics, because we put cheese on everything, <laughs> dude. I literally went from like eating whatever I wanted to one day I had a milkshake, and then I was just like, I remember, dude. It was so rough. I was in the bathroom just like scream <laughs> shitting, <laughs> like wh- I didn't understand. Oh my god, I've never shit so hard. I wanted to call a doctor till then. Um. Really? Yeah. Have you? Only when I've got like food poisoning or. Oh, I mean that's different because you know you're like, oh, this shit makes sense. I have food poisoning. Oh yeah. Um, but whatever, it's Dude, all good. Can eat ice cream. Can yeah. Eat cheese. I mean, I eat cheese still, but it's like in moderation. You for can't sure. suck on titties. Oh no! I wonder if breast milk is affected. It probably breast milk is like magic. It'll yeah. probably cure your lactose intolerance. Dude, It'll how, reset your biomes in your gut. How cool are the bodybuilders who are like trying to get breast milk so they can get buffer? Is that real? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're like farming. They're like on Craigslist, like trying to get women Dude, to sell their breast milk. That's to them. why I'm, uh, I can't get big. I'm not on the. <laughs> I'm not on those nat. Are you? Those those are <laughs> those natural. Yeah, are not on those big naturals. Is that what you? Were no, gonna I was say? gonna say it's not. Those don't count as performance enhancing, right? Because it's all natural. Dude, that's the secret. <laughs> you have her do the steroids, and then you suck on her tits. <gasps> oh my god! And like, I don't know. It probably you could be like, I didn't know. Like it, it, <laughs> when you get tested, I'm like, I don't, I don't. My, my girlfriend. <laughs> They're just like, if someone explain this, and you're holding a glass of milk, and it, they just look over. There's this ripped as fuck big titted lady next to you you're like no ignore oh man dude, we gotta test it out oh dude get your he- a big titted russian lady to just take steroids whenever i think of big tits i think of german but russian i'm i'm okay with that i i don't know i, I associate athletic performance with russians for some reason i feel like they're sturdy they're hardy people <laughs> the problem with athletic and russian women is that they're just literally like men because do you know about like all the all the records broken in the olympics for like women's like distance running and like sprinting are still like unbroken today i don't know what actually sport but there's like a bunch yeah dude because those ladies are juiced up as fuck dude they were just <laughs> dude, just super soldiers here i'm directly they into just, their eyes like they had unibrows and <laughs> dude, they didn't care at all they, they had started, a mustache they had balls under their clit like it, <laughs> it's, and they broke all those records and to this day <laughs> dude, they're what not if what if russia cheated so bad it wasn't even ladies this is like a guy with a full mustache wearing lipstick i run the marathon now <laughs> he's just fucking going that i mean dude, russian ladies don't really have boobs now that i think about it that's not a thing they are famous for yeah when i think of russian i think of malnourished i think of ballerinas. Like yeah i think of ballerinas and gymnasts which i guess i i now realize i associate with athletic performance at least as far as women are concerned. See, when it comes to athletic women, I in the Olympics, I default to the the Chinese lady powerlifters. Oh, Olympic lifters, yeah. Olympic lifters, I mean. Power Olympic lifters. Ooh. Oh, my God. I also, there's this one a French woman who did the hurdles. And I remember there was a famous gif of her, like, getting ready to warm up. And I was just like, oh, oh yeah. And I know. I don't God, know. God, she's so impossibly hot. Sprinters have the best bodies. Now, ballerinas. <sighs> and they got the gnarled, fucked up feet. <laughs> yeah. They're fucking just looking like 
you know when you cut a tree down and you just leave the stump for years and it just becomes this like mass that's what their feet are like covered in gross band-aids and all yeah. bloody and i could be into it i could be a foot guy into ballerina's feet dude i wish i was a foot guy sometimes like tarantino yeah, is Tarantino a foot guy? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love how you. Why do you know that so? Dude, why are you so sure? Go on to Google, <laughs> listeners, and just type in Quentin Tar- just Tarantino and feet, and there's like pictures. He because no, he even puts in his movies. Remember Kill Bill when she's like, "Move your pinky toe." Oh yeah, and, and, and so he's they, just directing it, yeah. just fully torqued. I'm trying to think of what other feet scenes. Uh, it's always. Well, Uma Thurman, she, she's like barefoot and is she barefoot in um, Pulp Fiction? Yes. Is she dancing? Yes. What are the bare feet? I feel like there's a lot. Dude, whatever it takes to get her feet out, I guess. Uh, Jackie Brown probably has bare feet. Oh, I was thinking of Big Lebowski, but it's the Cohen bros. With the uh, bunny, she has bare blow on my toes. Ugh. They talk about foot massages a lot, too, remember? Oh, yeah, in Pulp, in Pulp Fiction. Fiction. That is true. Because he's like, he gave me a foot ma- Dude, I remember watching that with a friend at the time, and he was like, that's so crazy. It should be fine to just give a girl a foot massage. And I remember being like, fuck you, dude. If you massage a girl I'm dating's feet, I'll fucking kill you. I was on his yeah, side. Yeah, I'm on. That's like. Don't touch. Listen, I don't like feet, but also feet are sacred for no reason. And if you fucking touch my girl's feet, I'll kill you. Massages, like the only, your significant other can get a massage if they pay for it. <laughs> if they No, it has to be a strange man. Yes. And they pay for it out. And then, and it has to be like very unsexy. And you needs to be playing like there has to be has to be in a public uh, strip mall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't be one of those fancy massages. Did I tell you about the worst massage I ever got? No. <laughs> it was while I was on the road, like, recently. What happened? I don't remember if I talked about it on another thing. Who I might have. But anyway, so what happened was... I was I had like forty five minutes before I needed to leave to go to a show, and we were in a mall. <laughs> Plenty of time. Oh, it was a mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a mall. So I was like, it wasn't one of the ones in the middle where a dude just comes up to you and he goes, "I touch you now," and like he just starts <laughs> touching. You're like, "No, get the fuck off me." It was a room. It was like a an actual storefront. So I was like, "Oh shit, yeah. it's a real massage place." And they had times like twenty minutes for twenty five dollars. I was like. I want 20 minutes. Is that okay? I have to go soon, but 20 minutes is perfect. And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I come in, but they're like full. And I was like, oh, if you're full, I can't do it. I got to go. I don't have time. And they're like, no, no, you wait. And so they made me. Is that really what they said? Yes, they like? were Chinese as fuck. <laughs> and this comes into play later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, impossibly Chinese. So, and I think also, it's, it's possible. There's a lot of Chinese people. <laughs> there is. It's, by the way, it's not the most ra- possible. <laughs> it's not race racist to be. if it's dead on, okay? And so. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it comes into play if you redeem yourself at the end of the story. <laughs> I'm not going to, and we both know that. So um, he's like, you wait. And so I was like, all right. And I wait. And then they're like, you lay down over here. They take me like there's chairs set up, but there's a back room. And I assume you go to the back room and get massage. He So the rooms are full, apparently. So what he does is he takes the table out in like the a big area where everyone can see you. People are getting, is there like pedicures? There are, or is yeah, it? people getting pedicures right. out in this part. He literally lays the thing out, so I'm in front of everybody. Has me lay down. Then he's on the phone, like are we, we're, 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 like yelling right, in Chinese. Now you're, <laughs> no, you've that gone wasn't too even fine. kind of Chinese. It was gibberish. Anyway, I know that's what makes it racist. <laughs> if you used I, actual Chinese words, it wouldn't be racist. You could be like, I don't sure know any Chinese. Say it. Sure, ni. That's a word. Boo is another. That means no in Chinese. Uh, I know they say the N word. That's like a, that's like a, a <laughs> no, real they, word. Firstly, they do. I, oh, a, it it means mean, something. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were talking about no, just New York no, Chinese I mean, people. <laughs> I mean, if they go niga, that's like, that's like a word in Chinese. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's Mandarin or the other one. What's the other one? Cantonese. So he's yelling on the phone in Chinese. Then he leaves. Then a woman just walks up and she's like, are you ready for your massage? And I'm like, okay. And she like takes my glasses off 
and then just throws them into this bin and then like very not caring at all how it's happened. Like I'm like, fuck, those are my glasses. Did you and, pay up front? Yes. Oh, okay. And then she so throws my, f- I'm locked in. Yeah. And then she, th- she throws my phone on top of my fucking glasses. She has me lay down. She starts just with my ass. It's a good place to start. Dude, <laughs> like she's fully pressing her thumbs like into the small. You only have 20 minutes. <laughs> start <laughs> she, with the biggest goes, muscles. She goes right in there, dude. It was so, dude. Have you ever had someone massage your butt? Have yes. you? Yes. <laughs> it feels really good. But have you ever had someone massage your butt and they're so. you're and there's like a hundred people watching. Yes. And you're like, why are you so close to the hole? No. Oh. She was, her thumbs, dude, This she was fucking in there. And she smelled like cigarettes. I could smell her from. I could smell her massaging my ass from up front with my head in the donut. And so I'm just like, God damn it. And then it, she's getting so close to my butthole. I'm How so, hard were you? Dude, I, I'm so <laughs> uncomfortable at this point. I'm so uncomfortable. And then she, You didn't pop a fear boner? <laughs> no. And then she goes, she goes, dude, this is this is when I knew I was fucked. She goes, I got to get to the other side of you. And then she stepped on me. <laughs> She fucking just stepped on me to get over me to the other side. Instead of walking around me, she fucking stepped on me. I mean... Fully, like, with her foot, stepped on my, like, fucking ass, and then hopped over me like she was my brother or something. Like, she knew me. No, that's part... You gotta pay more for those step-on massages where they massage you with their feet. Fuck, dude. Oh, yeah, those do feel good. I've never had one of those. I've never been massaged. Really? Like a professional one. Oh, we should go. We just got it. It's New York, so it's tough. We got to find a place where they don't try to jack us off. I know. It's what like, if? Okay, but no, also, I'm, my hear muscles me out. hurt. Wait, <laughs> I can, yeah, no, I'm better at this myself. You my, won't. <laughs> what if I jack off and you massage me at the same? T- not you. I'm talking about when we're at the place. The pl- that'd be though. Fun. You could massage me while I jack off. I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't be into it. Okay. So um, she's working on my back. She works on my back all the way up to my shoulders. This is. No, like, anyway, then she's standing and I can, like, see her gross feet. And I'm like, oh, no. Were they ballerina feet? They were ballerina. They were Chinese ballerina what, what, feet. Did, was there, like, foot binding going on? Or? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. Like, oh. she literally had tan lines. She wasn't wearing shoes, oh, by the way. Tan lines? Like... Yeah, like, from her sandals. Oh, okay. She wasn't wearing shoes. Why? The tan lines matter? I'm just saying her feet were all fucked up, dude. They were weird looking. I didn't like it. <laughs> Some, some I just remember like looking it. down and being like, why do you have, why are your feet this way? She stepped on you. Dude, also she had feet? like black stuff in her toes. Like, oh, It's the um, the tale of the cobbler's children. Oh, God. Do you know that? No. Um, what is it? It's uh, the cobbler's children. The cobbler's children's feet always go bare. Meaning the guy who makes. Oh, sh- yeah, yeah. Because he's poor. And then- no, because like your if your dad makes shoes. He's not going to make his own kid's shoes. That makes no sense. It's a phrase. Look it up. Is it really? It's a phrase meaning like, I don't know. You know what it means. It's self-explanatory. I know what it means, but I feel like the inverse, like where it's like, if you're a chef, you eat well at home. Sometimes it, it goes both ways. What if the cobbler is just a shitty dad and that's like the thing? It's, oh, it's a proverb from the Bible. Oh, shit. Let's see. Old school. Luke 4.23. I don't want to read the Bible Luke right now. Luke 4.23. Yeah, no one wants to read the Bible now, Mac. That is weird, though. Okay, here we go. But who is worse shod than the shoemaker's wife with shops full of new shapen shoes all her life? That is the cool part of the Bible because it all rhymes. <laughs> Wait, what What book was it from? Proverbs. Proverbs. Oh, yeah. Proverbs does do that. Um dude what do you have a favorite book from the bible no we can't get distracted no yeah i do so do you really yeah it's uh kings two it's samson we've oh, talked about yeah, this yeah, but that's anyways, right. another kings time two rules okay so um i'm getting uh she's like are you okay and i was like i'm fine and then um i can see her but yeah set- she had black stuff in her feet but she works in a massage and pedicure place oh yeah what the that- cobbler yes that makes sense so her feet are gross even though she's surrounded by pristine feet Mm-hmm. makes that duty here's the thing i don't fucking think she worked there i think they were out of people <laughs> and that guy wanted the sale and he just called his buddy who like works to somewhere else in the mall and she just came down because she's not doing a good job and she so she's sitting there i can see her feet i'm looking down through the donut and i'm on a table that's like half 
height of a regular massage table, so I'm pretty close to the ground, close enough that she could step on me to get over me. That you could see right into her feet. I'm looking right into her fucking feet, okay? And she, you're not a foot guy. I'm not a foot guy, <laughs> dude. I'm the opposite. I'm not, I don't hate feet, but no. So I'm sitting there, and she's like, are you okay? And I was like, yes. And she's like, I rub your head now. And she's like hurting my head. And then she stops rubbing my head because the massage is almost over. And I see her set a bottle of lotion down Okay. in front of me. By the way, all my clothes are on. <laughs> all my fucking clothes are on, dude. She puts the bottle of lotion down. Like I can see it like in like on the ground and i'm like what could the fucking lotion be for i'm clothed she then loads up her hand with lotion dude too much by the way you know (laughs) like you know when you have to and you have to like flick it off she has so much no she rubs her hands it's so creamy and disgusting and then she fucking puts her hands under my shirt i mean that's better than on top of your shirt (laughs) i know she's like rubbing the top of my back with a lotion while i'm still wearing my shirt and she's like stretching out the neck of my shirt to get in there dude this bitch has never given a massage before you know what she probably couldn't take off your shirt because she was in the front area yes that's what i'm saying like don't even do the lotion part then lady but you paid for it i did pay for it anyway so now i'm sticky and i feel gross and i'm like violated because she touched near my butthole and um she didn't even lotion your butt b-hole i tipped her six dollars <laughs> so what i had so i felt really bad i was like oh this is so gross and i left um it was the worst massage i've ever had and they did make me late for my show i feel like that could have gone even that wasn't that bad dude it was it, just, no it wasn't i'm sure worse people, things have happened but it was just like the war it dude it was such a waste of money it was insane she dude lotion under my shirt did you leave them a good review or a bad review i don't leave reviews no i never do i left a review to the uh <laughs> coffee place you know down the street yeah yeah they um the one over on the corner of our block i can't remember what it's called but I walked in one morning, and this is the only bad review. I've, I probably left one or two other ones. But I walked in, like, first thing in the morning, and I look at every, like, worker it is wearing a fedora. <laughs> Just their, that's the uniform. They all wear, wear, have to wear fedoras, like black fedoras. Like ones? Cute little ones? Like Carmen San Diego style? What are Not we cool Carmen San Diego ones. Like, I'm... <laughs> like I studied the blade, I'm euphoric <laughs> incel. Like fedoras are cool; they like, make me look classy. I wear a, I wear a like a Marvel T-shirt under my jacket and go do open mic fedora. Oh no! <laughs> like, I have a knife cutting channel on YouTube. Like yeah, where I, <laughs> I I review. Ni- so, anyways, I <laughs> I walk in, I see everyone wearing fedoras, I walk immediately out, and I leave a bad review. <laughs> and then my review is just like. The, the owners make everyone wear fedoras as a uniform. <laughs> Avoid at all costs. <laughs> Informative, though. Well, no, I wanted them to improve on their business. So when they see that review, they'll be like, oh, that is kind of like she did a force. Like all the employees had their normal clothes on. With fedora, But they all had to wear the uniform, which is the fedora. Oh, fuck. Well, and I'm assuming like some kind of like schmock or yeah, like whatever. whatever fucking. Did they match? The fedoras matched, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Were... So the place like has a fedora budget. Yeah, or n- unless they make, we should go ask if they make them. Um, you have to buy your own, dude. Fuck, there's that. companies With, like that, dude. I've worked for so many places that made me buy my uniform, and I fucking hated that shit. It's the worst. Um, where, have, where else have I worked that, dude? Hollywood Video made me buy my uniform. I remember that. But I stole from Hollywood Video, so, so it I equaled out. I got the yeah. Oh, it more than equaled out. <laughs> My <laughs> we, we, is that why they're is that why they're bankrupt now? <laughs> dude, I straight up used to run a racket where I sold. I would. Uh, I was the assistant manager at one point for no dude. Twenty years old, the assistant manager of a Hollywood Video. I feel like anyone who works at a Hollywood Video that's over the age of eighteen is in man like they're like yeah yeah why are you here you want the keys to the place i remember i wore dude at the because dude i've had my hands and my sleeves and my neck tattooed since i was like a kid i remember going in thinking like there's no way i get this job and i wore a dress shirt and i walked in the interview and the lady goes oh (laughs) (laughs) 
Wow. She, she's like impressed that I fucking had to wear with all. She's just like, wait, are you sober in this interview? <laughs> Do you want to be the manager? <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. And then um, this was back when Game Freaks was still a thing. The, it was attached to Hollywood Video. It was the caged off, cool, yeah. edgy area. Yeah. And um, so we fucking... I worked there, and we used to do the uh, the the loss and prevention thing at the end of the month. We would count up all the DVD. We had to hand count DVDs. We would stay till two in the morning. What? Every DVD in the store. Every DVD in the store had to be accounted for, and we would do it by hand. And they made us do it, and they wouldn't pay us overtime, dude. Fuck every. I, Fuck that place. I mean, that's so. I anyway, feel like if you'd pay them normally, they probably people would steal less. <laughs> yeah, probably. So anyway, they made us do that, and uh, we would count it up, and it, we were like way one one month we had a really bad month. Then I came in, and the month I did it, it was really low, and the dude was like, "Usually it's so much higher. That's crazy." And I was like, "Huh." <laughs> <laughs> and so the next month, when I was like kind of in charge, and I saw that it was low, I just stole. Four hundred dollars worth of DVDs. I mean, don't say a technical amount, but <laughs> I mean, yeah. So then, and then over time, I just I would just take DVDs and games, and uh, and then I started just renting people movies and pocketing cash. And dude, that's probably how Hollywood Video started. <laughs> <laughs> got, everyone was working at Blockbuster, and then they <laughs> stole enough DVDs that they're like, "Why don't we open our own place?" It's where they got all their videos from. <laughs> Dude, it That's ruled. Why Blockbuster went out of business too. <laughs> Dude, that job ruled so hard. I just fucking straight. I would, dude, I was a bandit. But like, I while would you leave were, with, dude, I would just come to work with a backpack and they'd be like, "What's that for?" And I'd be like, "I'm a student." I was so clearly Homework. not. Oh, dude. But you were the manager. What could you? What could they say? And I remember at the time I lived at that abandoned radio station with my friends. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We squatted in, a, in an abandoned radio <laughs> station. <laughs> And uh, all my friends were in college, and I was the only loser who wasn't. But I was like, I'm the manager of Hollywood <laughs> Video, so who's making the real good decisions here? There you go. Oh, dude. How would you know it was abandoned radio station? Because it was it was literally. But like, was there a sound booth and stuff? Yeah, yeah. And it only had t- it had only had one bay window in the front, and then one tiny window in the side, and it was like shitty, and there was no. Like anything, dude, it was like a barren thing. And they used it as a radio station at one point, and there was a giant antenna on top of it. And then. Um, Could have had pirate radio. Yeah. Well, we eventually hoisted a pirate flag up there. <laughs> And then we uh, not the same, but yeah, I know. But we um, we occupied that place, and then the guy was attached to an apartment complex called the Busta, and then the, we ended up paying them. Dude, I think we paid three hundred dollars a month for a two bedroom with an unfinished basement and a living room, two, like three hundred flat. That's all we paid. I thought for you that said place. you were squatting. Well, eventually they assimilate. They were like, "You're you have to pay us, or we're going to do something." And we wait. Were like, how long have you been living here? Yeah, yeah. No, that was it. And he was like, "You know that electricity is like, we can tell that you're here, like you're using the electricity." The dude was like this hippie guy who was super oh, okay. sweet. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. Hey, man, can you <laughs> yeah, help out? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, he was squatting there too. <laughs> <laughs> he scammed you, <laughs> dude. The booster was this guy from like Puerto Rico, and he was like, the, or something, and he was like this fabled dude everyone would talk about, and he would come visit like once a year, and he was super rich to see his properties in Southern Utah. Wow. And we were one of them, and we used to get up to all kinds of crazy stuff, and we would feud with the uh, the the other squatters. No, there was the um. What is the Shakespearean festivals in Southern Utah, where all the Shakespearean actors from all over the world come to celebrate Shakespearean works of art? Oh yeah, that and then is they a thing. do like a big thing. It's like one of the biggest yeah. Shakespearean things in the world. They have legit recreated outdoor Shakespearean style theaters. There's it's tons a, of ads in Utah it's a for it. Huge deal. People come from all over the world to watch it, and the dorms for it are right across the street from us. And we used to put poop in a potato cannon and fire it at their parties and like feud with them. It ruled. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're just drama nerds. Why would you be mean to them? Oh, no, we weren't bullying them. I, I think <laughs> yeah, something happened once where them. they had a party and some people parked at our apartment complex. Oh, yeah, that deserves. <laughs> and then and then we were like, hey, you can't park here. Someone's trying to park here. And they were like, no, we're too drunk to move the in. It That's just a like, good excuse. It escalated. You're allowed to park on the street. Listen, I don't know if you know that. I, yeah, I don't this know. This isn't Boston where <laughs> they actually like, it does get people 
people get killed over parking spots. Eventually, it's I, Utah. Listen, <laughs> you can park. <laughs> there's so much parking also, everywhere. Also, in their defense, there's, in their defense, it, there's any. We could have just parked the two a block up, and it doesn't matter. Eventually, it escalated. The insults were traded, and it escalated to the point of full on. Uh, Poop being fired out of potato cannons into parties. Potato gun. That's fun. So good. Do you want to? So I asked people on Instagram to ask us questions, and I'll be real. They did a terrible job. They did a real bad job, and I'm going to ask. I saw some of them. They look like bad first date questions. Yeah. Like, what do you like, like to play or do? And you're like, um... I like YouTube. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I went on a. Did I? I don't know if I ever told you. I went on a first date with a girl, and I was like, "What do you like? Uh, what are you passionate about? What are you good at?" And she was like, "What do you mean?" And I was like, "What's your thing? Like, what do you like to do?" And she was like, "I think that's an unfair question. Can oh we come God. back to it?" And I was like, "Oh fuck, if dude, you can't date, answer that. Date over. That was wild. You couldn't even make something up." Um, that's. It I've was, only been on the one really bad date here in Manhattan. Oh yeah, where. She was, we was just, I can't remember what we were, and the, my question is always Seinfeld or Friends, and she's just like, ew, I don't like Seinfeld. I'm like, what? She goes, yeah, Costanza is not, he, he's gross. And I'm just like, How, well, what? Oh, Costanza no. is the best. And she just loves Friends. Yeah, he's always, the worst best. No, I actually, um, I read, was reading about, uh, there was some woke Twitter account that was, there's an episode of Seinfeld that, um, I can't remember who it is, but Elaine's on a date with, is it a baseball player? I can't remember, but he whips out his dick <laughs> in, in the episode. Do you remember that one? No. What oh, the fuck, Oh, yeah. He dude? whips out his dick in the car, and so Elaine goes to, she's telling the story to Jerry, Kramer, and Costanza, and Seinfeld's like, no, nah, he's like, no, nah, what? He wouldn't do that. Like, he's full in, like, defending the guy with pulling out his dick, and Kramer's like, what he's like kind of halfway like i don't think but maybe like he's kind of like believing her yeah and costanza's the only guy who's just like what how could he do that like he's 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 the only guy that believes elaine whoa he's the wokest of he, all of them costanza's a good guy just because he's shitty at his job and do lies also and do you remember how he got his wife murdered or his fiance killed uh, he and then burned down the thing. I don't think he did that like maliciously. It, uh, he doesn't treat women very well, but I. If I think he treats them like, better than Seinfeld does. Yeah, I was gonna say Seinfeld's evil. <laughs> there's a certain point when you're like, well, they're all evil. That's the premise of the show. But I don't think Kramer's evil. Ah, uh, Kramer. Remember when he has those Asian guys sleeping in his dresser drawers? <laughs> 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 People forget that episode exists. <laughs> I can't remember why he sets that up. <laughs> Costanza, Costanza's good. he's is really shallow and weird. But there's I, honestly though, be shallow and weird. Who fucking cares? Yeah, that's me. I relate. No, yeah, you. You know what? Now that I think about it more and more, you're like if Costanza had hair, <laughs> <laughs> you're more powerful. Then uh, Elaine, Elaine is not evil. Is she? Yeah, she's kind of evil. Remember when she's like making guys prove to her they're worth this birth control sponges that's not evil that's just every woman i've never <laughs> known there. but anyways seinfeld is better than friends and also that's not evil you're right i started watching i watched uh i watched like three or four episodes of friends in a row and i didn't <sighs> how I'm, i couldn't because i wanted to know like what's the appeal um and i didn't laugh at all i'm just like There's, these are i get that they've written this joke, but it does not hit me in any, like, I can't feel it. They're not <laughs> clever. Friends, uh, Seinfeld is a, a, a thing with jokes. Friends is the equivalent of, like, an, a, a comedy Instagram where hot girls make goofy faces. That is. That's a good. You're like, oh, she's so hot, but she made an ugly face. I can't believe. So. What? No way. Yeah. So, Look anyways, how human and relatable she is. Anyway, this girl, she, this girl I went on this date with, really loved Friends, hated Costanza. So I was already kind of like, uh, uh, yeah, but it's it, rough. She just kept pounding drinks, and then we're sitting at this table, and this couple next to us started talking about a cat they had, and she zoned in on that conversation, and I noticed she wasn't like speaking or looking at me, and so I'm kind of like listening to their conversation too, and I just look at my phone and. 
she doesn't look at me for 15 minutes <laughs> and then she looks over she's like oh sorry and i'm just like no it's fine and i like pay for my drinks and i walk out <laughs> the cat conversation and i was just she's it was i, it was, I had to walk out of that thing because of ignoring me for 15 minutes yeah but more so the the friends thing is <laughs> more unforgivable <laughs> that's the cool part about new york is if you just walk any amount of distance half a go- block you're you're you gone know. forever dude fuck it did you even like were you ever there and did you block her number um i didn't have her number we just decided oh, to meet up you just deleted her one of those dating apps Ooh, the dating apps are brutal so anyways, yeah, let's go on a first date with your fans <laughs> asking you questions. <laughs> but before we do that, I wanted to read this one tweet I saw. It's really funny. It's an, or a news article. It says a white... Say, are you reading other people's tweets for our <laughs> podcast content? <laughs> no, it's a news article. It's a, it's a retweeted news article. Uh, what what, uh, what, what periodical white... is this? <laughs> it's from, um, I don't know, from a local news station. This is a white woman in Raleigh, North Carolina called a black woman the N-word and said she would do it again because... Because she felt forced into using the racial slur because she thought the black woman was being too loud at a restaurant. Oh no! Is this Paula <laughs> Dean? <laughs> I would. It's just the she fact was that, forced. Yeah, she has a, it's the part that gets me. <laughs> she has the castle doctrine for the N word. <laughs> Listen, she she made me do that <laughs> just because she was being too loud at a restaurant. Like, what does that even mean? But I love that the news talked to the lady and she's like. I would do it again. <laughs> what is the news article? Does the news article like pretty neutral? Yeah, it that's is. pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, dude, they're, they're sh- like, they the first draft was they're like, she's a hero, and they're like, we, we should dial it back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, I would, I would do it again. Like she shot her. She made me say it. <laughs> oh, that's just, so just awful. imagining this lady being like, "Why? Like, what? What do you think she's being loud? Just talking, uh, dude? No one's ever called me the N word for being loud, and I'm loud all the time. That is. Well, have you done it in North Carolina? Have you been loud down there? <laughs> oh, not yet. I should work on it. Well. What happened to her? She just got an article written about yeah, her? She Nothing bad happened to her. No, not yet. Not yet. But she's in the article. Full How did on. they find her? Like, I don't know. She, dude, she was like wanted to comment on this story. She's like, let me defend myself. And then they were well, like. Well, obviously, like people are angry at yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. So. Then they were like, explain yourself, ma'am. And she's like, don't worry. I'll clear this up for all y'all. <laughs> I'll clear this up for everybody who wants to know. Here's the deal. She's being loud. I would do it again. You're like, whoa. <laughs> that was the, the exact opposite of what you should have said. Um, this person's, uh, let's see, dude. So I'm just going to read these in order of, or, oh, these are the questions. Yeah. I'm gonna, so I'm going to start reading questions. <laughs> are these directed at you or me They're, or so I, I wh- just, what did you ask them? I, cause maybe I, your question was bad. No, he, my and question might've been bad. I asked it early in the morning. I you're said, just like, Hey guys, ask me questions. And then they're like, okay. I know. I, I said, recording my new podcast, send me any topics, questions, would you rathers, hypotheticals, nudes to be judged. Ask me opinions on movies, games, politics, art, or anything else. Damn, Fire that, away. You, that question is kind of, that's eh, all right, but. I mean, listen, I w- I will, I'm open to criticism. It's not the best question. I just wanted people to say whatever. I should have, I, I could have just said AMA for my podcast or whatever, but it doesn't matter. My fan would have given a much better question. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's see. So I'm just going to read these in order of. The them being for, if it's remotely interesting i'm gonna say it out loud and it, listen the bar, you haven't like <laughs> the bar is so low you haven't a train leaves chicago at 80 miles per hour okay, headed east this question are sucks. you circumcised or uncircumcised <laughs> okay this, <laughs> <laughs> that is actually a really good yeah that's a good question um this is fun because is it do you want to answer first it's for both of us you answer first i am uncirc <laughs> Oh, for all our listeners. He's running the full. Mo- he's got a, the whole thing. Yeah, I got all those nerve endings, dude. It rules. Is it cool? Do you like if a girl actually plays with your foreskin? Is that hot? Um, I've never, uh, not really, because when you get hard, it like fills out, and you don't yeah, like you, have it. It's like it's a reverse stretch. chameleon. You know how like when. What's the a dinosaur from Jurassic Park that unfurls and it <laughs> yeah. spits? It's like that kind of. Except 
Well, my cum is black too, so <laughs> <laughs> black tar cum. Um, so yeah, I just dude uh, being on Cirque is way tight. I highly recommend it, dude. I'm. The, I have anxiety thinking about. Also, like what you're missing out? No. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? It's so good. I don't know about that. I There's worry, no downsides. Dude, firstly, I have so many friends with foreskins that are like, tore my foreskin again. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> you're just out I here see tearing <laughs> your dick? I mean, you've probably torn your dick without a foreskin. Yeah, I've so. torn my dick from having, uh, <laughs> dude. I've had so much sex that I'm I was like, gonna say the skin. <laughs> it like rubbed me raw. Also, once I was fucking a girl and I pulled out and I accidentally dr- slammed my dick into a carpet and gave the bottom of my dick rug Ooh. burn, and I couldn't jack off for like two weeks because it was it had I had a scab on there. Is it like? What kind of carpet was that? Was that office carpeting? Dude, carpet no. tiles? You know, like when carpeting is like knotted? Like yeah, like in an office? Yeah, like in an office. Was, was it a, just rope and no, carpet? No, well, it was on the ground of a trailer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably lucky I didn't catch anything else. So you are uncirc. I'm uncirc, by the way, everyone. My dick is professionally trimmed up. Uh, looks great. By an actual moil? No, a moil didn't do it. A doctor Then did. it's not professional. But the doctor was Jewish. All right. <laughs> so I get I get partial. That actually credit. might be better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't use his mouth, so <laughs> boom. That's so fucked up. I can't believe that happens. How do you think they do the mental gymnastics <laughs> to yeah, be like, like I'm gonna bite this baby's foreskin off. Oh my the god. The Hasidic Jews. Dude, what if <laughs> what if a girl wanted to role play a moil as pretending to bite your baby dick? <laughs> I don't know how you <laughs> jump to that, but all right. I'm just saying, what if... What if, dude? What if a woman asked you and she said, listen, my fantasy is for you to, to pretend to be a baby at a bris. All of our friends are going to come over. We're going to have a party. You're going to lay on a table in front of everyone, and then I'm going to have the curls. I'm going to have the payout and everything, and I'm going to... All right, you've won me over. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like costumes. Uh, yeah, there you go. And then she doesn't actually bite your dick, but she then she blows you. That's in front of everyone. Yeah. You know what? I've said it before and I've said it. Yeah. We should direct porn. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're so good at it. Be... The other day I did a tweet that didn't get a lot of love, but I was like, it was the Ninja Turtles theme. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power bottom. <laughs> like that's yeah, so that fun. Yeah, that deserves zero <laughs> likes. No, it will be. It's a gay Ninja Turtles. Okay. Let's go to the next thing. Dude, people are asking Wait. things like. Can we read the name of that good question? Do they want? We, maybe we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. Re- we shouldn't because we have no idea how much power we wield yet. We haven't even launched the podcast. If we have enough listeners, what is this, episode two, three, oh, two, three, it doesn't matter. Epi- We've we're anyways not recording them in the order of appearance. They, I have a lot of like dogs or cats type questions. Yeah, that's a not, that's not a good question. It's not. I mean, I appreciate that you want to know that, but it's not a good question. The what, answer is they, dogs. Here. Mm, <laughs> Um, I like dogs more, but not. It depends on like here in the city. I would never own a dog. I kind of despise people who own big dogs here because I feel like yeah, they're huskies and bullshit. Like it's like where does your dog exercise? Where it doesn't live a life. Like well, people here actually are rich, unlike you or me. Ooh, good so point. they can pay for dog walkers. Oh, they, that's right. It's okay. a whole part of the economy here. <laughs> is the Fair dog enough. walking economy? Dude, and there so, is a. A separate animal economy. You're right. But the best city dog is a greyhound. What? They sleep like 23 hours a day. Are you sure? Yeah, that's actually recommended. Only if they exercise, though, right? Yeah, you take them out once a day and okay. run them ragged for 30 minutes, and then they sit on a couch. Nice. Um, Would you pee on me? This guy says. Would you pee on someone? It's a guy. Well, it's a dude, but... Let me can... Is... His name's Brian. <laughs> I mean... I mean, that's not his full username, but... If he got stung by a jellyfish, probably. <laughs> if we're, like, camping and all peeing, like, on trees, I'd probably pee on him. Not in, like, a sexual way. Just, like, for a fun? Yeah. It, I used to, in high school, that was a running gag. is just trying to pee on each other. Like, whatever it took to pee <laughs> on each other, dude. <laughs> like, if you... We would wait to like sneak to the bathroom because you were afraid one of your friends was going to be like waiting outside of the stall to pee on you when you got out. 
Can you get that range to pee over the stall? Dude, no. We tried. <laughs> Trust me. You or gotta, you should do the flick that's where a, you hold it and then you let it go and you try and flick the pee what? up over. <laughs> Dude, no. none of it works. It's one of the advantages of a narrow urethra. More pressure. <laughs> you get that distance. <laughs> oh, my God. What's the far? Dude, I can't pee very far, but I can come like... Boom! I can launch that shit, dude. I mean, have you tried peeing while hard? Maybe that's sure. I've peed while hard before. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get the distance. That's true. That, I guess, yeah. Um, I've. Have you ever peed on a lady? Not in like, uh, like, ha ha. Like it's always been that way. Like, oh no, you mean it has been funny? Yeah, it's not been sexual. Not sexual. That's gross. <laughs> I've had a couple girls ask me to pee on them sexually, but like not. They were girls I was like sexting. If they weren't like, because in the context of a relationship, like if my wife was like, or my girlfriend, my long, whatever, someone I cared about was like, you should pee on me. I'd be like, oh, oh God, okay. I'd another divorce. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I will because no, you're you into only, it. But... You only pee on your significant other in the shower to gross them out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I've peed on every girl I've ever showered with, unless, but they didn't know. Unless you're both into it, then... <laughs> Dude, I'm not kink shaming, but also pee is just like, what is the appeal? It was like girls are like pee in my mouth. Like, dude, I don't think that's real, but it is no, real because we've seen it online. I was gonna say you say it's not real, but I've had I've had human people like I've had women ask me human people, <laughs> dude, <laughs> actual adult women be like, I would love for you to pee in my mouth, and I'm like, uh, what the fuck? If you don't want me to kiss you ever again, um. Let's see. Favorite metal band from the last five years? This goes out to both of us. Well, my metal bands are all... They can be stoner metal, whatever. No, they're all stoner metal. Well, so well just name one. Elder. Elder? Oh, it's a really good band. I saw them in Salt Lake when t- they played in a <laughs> back room to ten people. And were, you, and were you on drugs? I was probably the highest I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that, that was, factored in? <laughs> I, no, I love Elder to begin with. All their, oh, okay. And so then I was like, well, it, when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> what, what drug were you on? Just weed. Oh, I okay. I got stoned out of my mind. I, for some reason, I thought you were on acid or something. That would have been cool. My favorite metal band of the last five years is Black Tongue. I haven't heard them. There, there's two me- there's two bands you need to check out. Yeah, they're like doom and doom metal and deathcore together. So they're just like Is that pretty fast. It, it's it goes from like chugging evil sort of sludgy sounds to big uh, breakdowns, which is like my favorite shit, dude. I love it. Um, so when are you gonna let your nudes leak? LOL. Never to you. Yeah, I don't know why, dude. People message me all the time, and they're like, w- "How much is it gonna be?" And it's like, I don't, dude. I'm pretty sure my nudes are on the internet somewhere. I know for one hundred percent sure there was a video of me fucking someone on Tumblr. That's cool. For, at some point in time, are they just in like not nicely either? It's pre- It's it's like. It's pretty graphic, and it's clearly, unmistakably me. Like your face? Um, I don't think my face is in it, but like my tattoos are all in That's it. That's how they literally see tattoo my hand, my tattooed hands holding her head. That's how they found Riff Raff sex tape. <laughs> there was some Riff girl. Riff Raff has one. Riff Raff has a sex tape, well, but. <laughs> It's just this girl. She's filming herself <laughs> getting boned. Yeah, and so you see the hands like grabbing her, like oh. or her neck and her head, and someone recognized the hand tattoos, and that, then it's Riff Raff's tattoos. That's what'll do me in eventually. That's what I mean. So someone tattoo aficionados. I know. Also, my ex has a sex tape. She's probably saving for my, whatever. My ex sent you a nude of me. <laughs> <laughs> so she did. Mine have leaked. Not even, not <laughs> even on text through uh, Twitter DMs. I just got it random. It was very funny. It to was her funny. credit, it was very funny. No, the, my my nudes are hilarious. She's funny on the internet. I'll give her credit. Um, what makes you want to pursue comedy? Well, uh, <laughs> I, I, I quit. <laughs> As you say it through coughing on a jewel hit. Yeah. Um, I, no, I, I'm on a hiatus. I like. Oh, I am not on a hiatus. I, I pursue comedy because it's one of the only things. Dude, I bet getting paid helps. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's it's really tough to keep doing comedy when you don't get any money for yeah, it. Yeah, that does help. Um, I really like comedy because it's one of the. It's like a laughing and coming, and <laughs> you're like Arnold <laughs> when I'm when I'm pumping, I I'm coming. <laughs> when, I'm, when they laugh, I come. What every movie time. is that? No, um, there's this very few things. Uh, the feeling of accomplishment from like winning something or like gaining skill, uh, suffering, um, 
coming, laughing, these things like distract you from the fact that you exist. And I like them laughing. So I like comedy because it makes me laugh uh, with everyone. I think that's why I don't like comedy. Yeah. None you of it makes me laugh. Yeah. Yeah. You're not a laugher. I'm too. I went too deep. I saw. I see the machine code behind comedy, and I broke my brain. Yeah, you really. You you're the you're the dude from the Matrix that tries to get plugged back in. Cipher. Yeah, Cipher. There he, he, he is. He was cool. <laughs> when he's eating steak, and it's like, all right. <laughs> I wish I could go back. If you like comedy, don't pursue it. No, it's very <laughs> fair. If you like comedy, you'll the... you'll meet the unfunniest people in your entire life doing oh, stand up. Dude, those people make me laugh the most. Uh, yeah, the they less are funny, funny you are, the more funny I think it is. But watching them do stand up will eat away at your soul. Yeah, it does take an emotional toll on you. Biggest celebrity crush? Do just anyone? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know any celebrities. My celebrity crush. Um, wait, let me think about it. My male celebrity crush would be Brad Pitt because he seems like triple A and still normal. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. He's a bachelor again. Ooh. Then my female celebrity crush probably Natalie Portman. Oh yeah, Natalie's so hot. She's so fucking smart and hot and like funny. She's gonna be the new Lady Thor. Yeah, she is, which is interesting. I guess I don't. Care. I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Thor. It doesn't matter. It's all Thor. It's the like last, why the fucking cares? No, the last Marvel movie I watched was the second Captain America. So oh, I yeah. checked out before checking <laughs> out was. I like I like Marvel movies, but the whole like it's a lady. It's like I don't give a shit. Just make a good Thor movie. I don't know. Is I'm that just, what they're doing? Yeah, I mean they will. The, uh, Get, where's Beta Ray Bill? Why don't we have him? Where's Squirrel Girl? Fuck Lady Thor. I want the weird horse guy. No, I want Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl's tight. She she does she should be around. Um yeah. What we, am I celebrity crush? No, wait, I want to change mine. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Dude, Cage is yeah, a good one. He's a really good one. I have too many. The more I think about Yeah, yeah. For me, guy off the top of my head, just randomly Jake Gyllenhaal. Boom. He's He's all right. Jakey Gyllenhaal's baby. He's cute, but Oh, I like him. Is he cool? I don't know. I think he's cool. He climbed Everest before it was popular. Before it was popular, <laughs> Everest has been hacked for like a hundred years. I love that it's like one of the pinnacles of human achievement. And no, you're like, it's, it's not. It's like tourist mountain climbing, dude. Firstly, the, you, everyone says that, and that's not the fuck. That's such a fucking stupid thing to Go say. Go climb K two if you want to climb a mountain. I'm not saying that Everest is like not technically easier than a lot of other mountains, but the idea that like the last lady who just went and did it and didn't know what she was doing died. People no, die doing it all the time. Probably, what do you mean? No, I'm telling you. There's probably been like fact. 20 ladies since her who've climbed that. Yes, ladies who are mountain climbers. Oh, what do you mean? Then this random lady, like who died? She was just like this random lady who was like paid the company to like help yeah, her get to the top. Died and she was on in really Everest. Good shape. Yeah, it's it's one of the pinnacles of human achievement. You're just saying pinnacle because it's a mountain. <laughs> no, it's the highest spot on earth. It's a big deal to get That's up there. Stupid. Everest it's sucks. If you climb Everest, screw you. <laughs> you're just a you're you're probably like oh Burning Man, let's go. And then <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, those are the people. The people who can no afford way. To Burning climb Man people are the people who were like nature, but they they can't climb or no no one who does anything goes to Burning Man. That's the point of Burning Man. No it's people just, with people who just have money go to Burning Man. People who just have money go climb Everest. They're the same thing. People who are insane. actually people who are actually losing their mind on like drugs go to there's a um, there's a like touring. the gathering of the juggalos. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's one. <laughs> That that is the true pinnacle of humankind. No, there was some uh, there's some crazy festival that moves around, and a couple of years ago it was in Utah, and it was up in the Rockies, and it like got raided, and it's right. like legit. I mean, makes Burning are, Man look like a joke. There are black metal festivals in the forests of Norway. That sounds cool. That's where people do mushrooms and like do actually have done human sacrifice and shit. So I mean, as long as there's cool music, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal. Wait. I just love that you. <laughs> I like that you're like fucking. That's like people who I've run a marathon and people were like, "Who cares?" And it's like, yeah, I agree that who cares, but like. It's still hard. It's not like no, you're no, never but mind. Why do I don't you, know what like, I'm trying to say. Running a marathon to, isn't that hard. You're either. trying to defend Jake Gyllenhaal because he climbed Everest. He's my boyfriend. 
Listen, you I just can think, like him because he's cute. No, I think that I do think that climbing Everest is a really cool achievement. No, it's lame. No, I don't think it's lame. I get why you're saying that, but you're wrong, and, I, you're, and you've just never been more wrong. Um, I've been more wrong, but I'm pretty right about this. <laughs> What's a girl that I have a crush on in, that's a celebrity? I don't know, dude. Oh, I want to change mine. Okay. <laughs> Yolandi Visser. Dude, I, I claim I that waifu. I was about to say her. God, fuck you. Waifu claimed. Yolandi is so hot. Why is she so hot? It's impossible how hot she is. I hate her hair and I love it all at once. Mm. God, she's hot. So now you got to pick a new one. I know. That one. I've been way into Zendaya recently. Is that? <coughs> she's the chick from Spider-Man. She's going to play Chani in Dune. Oh, is she really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's really, really pretty. I'm... Isn't she like 16? No, she's <laughs> 23. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's in the realm of possibility for me. I was trying to me. get you. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not you, okay? What? Mine is Yolandi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's... she looks 16. But she's clearly in her late 20s, too. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yolandi's no, she's older probably, than us. She's like 30-something. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Zendaya is really cute and hot and funny. I'm into her. She's endearing. I know nothing about her. Hit me mm, up, girl. From oh wait, I want to change mine again. Who was the, <laughs> who was the mom in that movie? In what movie? The Spider Man oh, movie. Oh, dude, yeah, she's <laughs> bananas hot. It's she's so like dumb, almost dude. sixty, and she looks better than everyone. Dude, <laughs> fuck up my life. What is her name? I don't she's know. She's Super triple A list. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. We're dumb as fuck, dude. Have you ever seen a ghost? <laughs> no. Everyone in podcast land knows who that was, so we don't even have to continue. They I don't know. know who that was. Well, have you seen a ghost? I've seen. Uh, I thought I saw a ghost once when I was a kid, but I don't know if I was just like I don't know what I saw. What'd you see? <laughs> I was like, I was. So I used to wake up in the morning and steal cereal because we we're only allowed to have one bowl. How many siblings did you have? <laughs> Three brothers. That's yeah, in the, at the it. time in the same place. So I would come down to steal a bowl of cereal and then go back up and go back to sleep. And since I used to pee my bed a lot, <laughs> I would already be awake, ready to go. So I went. Uh, I rinsed off from pissing the bed, and I <laughs> <laughs> just your alarm clock. <laughs> yep, yep. I had a bowl of cereal. It was delicious. I cleaned the bowl. I put it back. I put some water into the milk to get it back to the dash where it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then i went to walk out what'd you do with the cereal though <laughs> i put it back it did, did you like fluff it up no to, like, you put can't it back? tell about the cereal so i, wa- I went to sawdust and this was at this time my family lived in like a home i was still in california i was very young yeah most families live in homes <laughs> well <laughs> not mine <laughs> and so we eventually went to walk i went to walk through the living room to get back to the stairs and there was this like train like this sort of like effervescent like smoke creature like almost looked like an alien like it had very skinny limbs a skinny torso a long elongated head and it had long fingers and it was sort was of it like a skinwalker it was almost made of smoke it was crazy the way it looked and it just reached out and it pointed to me and i was like fuck this forever and i went back into the kitchen and my cat was there his name was ricky after Ricky Ricardo. That's a good name. Yeah, that's a great name. And I remember Wait, picking up... I want to up... change my male celebrity crush. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I grabbed Ricky and I sat up on top of the kitchen table and I waited until everyone else woke up to leave the kitchen. I was so afraid. And then you and never then saw it again. I never saw it again. Crazy, right? So I don't know. And I... Dude, that image is burned into my brain. Like, And I can't tell if I was like... If it was real or what, like, you know how you doubt yourself over time? Yeah. I have no idea what I saw. I do know that that one experience has, like, made me be uh, skeptical of being too atheist as a, you know, like, yeah, like, forever. It fucked me up for sure. People who are, like, hardcore atheists are also, like, how, do you, like how do you know? Yeah, I don't like that. Fuck that. Um, What about but you? So no, no ghosts Nothing. on your end? I, I li- all I would do as a kid was listen to Coast to Coast AM and so I was so into it and I would love like looking at graveyards and listening to demons and aliens and nothing ever happened to me. Yeah, that's the thing is if you want it, it'll never happen. That's, when yeah. I was a kid, I was afraid of everything. All I was such a scared kid growing up. Like up until I was like 11, I was the, I was the most scared of everything always. Um, would you rather pee in a girl's butt or come on a guy's face? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I'm assuming she's laying on the ground, opening her butt up. Oh no, back that's so you worse. Can pee into it. No. I'm gonna have to go with the girl one because I don't <laughs> want. To, I'm going against that one unwillingly. But what if he's not there? Like you can't see him. Like you're a girl's blowing you, a hot girl. It's the girl from Spider Man, the lady. It's Spider Man's. Aunt. Aunt May? Aunt May is blowing <laughs> you. Is that, I'm just kidding. It's that, Aunt May from the Sam Raimi. Or the, oh, with the, <laughs> the, the good Spider-Mans. Yeah. Anyway, it's whatever Aunt May you want. She's blowing you so hard. But when you come, you've got to turn and you've got to blast no. this dude's face. No, I won't do it. What? That's the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever... Dude, that's... Firstly, you've done the equivalent watching porn. We've all been jerking it, and it's so hot. And you're like, yes. And then it just cuts to his balls or his face while he's, he's like, making it. And you're like, no, as you're coming. No, you just suck it back in <laughs> for, like, a, a couple seconds. I can't. I can't. Once it starts to come <laughs> out, I'm just like. you got to do your kegels, dude. and you can control it. <laughs> <laughs> no way. You just do one rope and then put the rest away? How does that work? <laughs> yep. It's like, just do your kegels more. <laughs> Jesus. That's impressive. So you're peeing in her butt. Yeah. You're disgusting. I know, but that's... In my scenario, if I'm, I'm getting a blowjob from Aunt May and then I'm going to come on a guy's face, he can have it. It's fine. Where it's teamwork at this point. Um, Yeah, that's weird. That was so weird of a, you to say that. That's a good that. question. He's what? not going to touch you. <laughs> He's Just the... come on his face. No. Come on my face. <laughs> no, it's not me. It's, it would never be me. Um, this person asked what my writing process was like, as if I write. Yeah, you just take my bits and do them <laughs> oh on stage. God, yeah, your bits. Yeah, you know how many Arc. child molesting jokes are on my fucking dry bar special. If you hear one, <laughs> then you know. <laughs> You'll know, you where know who wrote. wrote it. Oh my god, I don't do those anymore. They're too topical. <laughs> <laughs> Books that changed you. Oh, that's actually a good first date question. That is. Do you know the John Waters quote? No. John, you know John Waters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a saying where he says like if you take someone if you if you someone takes you home after a date and they don't have books, don't fuck them. Oh, that's a really good quote. That's why I have a uh, two or three books in my room. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the lowest mm. amount. What's a what's a book that you think like actually like affected your life? Um, the book that affected my life was Dune. Are you serious? Yeah, I know you talk about it all the time, but I didn't realize it actually affected no, you. In it any affected me. Way. It's it's. Uh, I'm t- books are so hard for me to read. I'll I'll read any like the most classic books, Lord of the Rings, everything, and I just takes me like 10 minutes to read a page but dune i will blast through huh and i love it just the first the world building of the first third the the second the middle part makes me want to become an (laughs) eco-terrorist and then the third part makes me want to just do mushrooms and worship women dude you should read dune if you like any of that and time travel and all the drugs um seeing the future eco-terrorism Lord of the Rings in space. Read Dune. It'll change your life. Uh, I'm going to read it. I read it when I was a kid, and I don't remember it being profound at all. And it, I think it's because it went right over my head. No, it's... I think he writes... You know when people write too much? Like, they're trying to flex. on like, look how good of a writer yeah, I am. Yeah, I read The Wheel of Time, so I know. <laughs> and so that's like... You get bored because you're like, okay, what's happening? You're just yeah. taking too long. And then there's on the opposite end of the spectrum where it's just like hop on pop the cat in the hat where you're like yeah. you're not describing anything those are good books that's a bad example <laughs> the yeah, hop on pop is great the but like where dune gives you just enough information and you feel like lost kind of reading it but like as you keep reading it like clicks and makes more sense even a dummy like me can read it and like figure out what's happening oh okay when i started reading the, I think it was The Hobbit. I'm like, wait, how many dwarves are there? <laughs> like, I can't keep track of all these. So I like The Hobbit, too. But Dune, read Dune. Yeah. It'll okay. change your life. Okay, that's cool. Your uh, worship women and do mushrooms comment hit me pretty hard. The worshiping. There's, like, the idea of, like, um, I was thinking about how, like, weird I am about, like, my relationships with women. And I was like, oh, dude. You want, like, a girl who you can, like, surrender yourself to without feeling demeaned? Is that a thing? Because every girl who's, like, be submissive, but they're, like, a cunt about it. 
Maybe the ones I don't know. Yeah, the ones I know, like they're like to me, like even my exes, like it was always like this weird belittling part of it, and it was like just let me be all in on you, uh, but it feels good, like it feels like I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, read Dune. Okay, I'm gonna read Dune. I guess I don't know what I was trying to convey just now. Also, that wasn't trying to be a slam on anyone I've dated. They, um, I don't think anyone I dated really belittled me at all while I was dating them. So. Um, what book you don't move on you got to tell your book oh now. yeah that's right dude for me it was uh, the book that chased Starship Troopers for sure that's a good one Starship Troopers I read it twice in a row like cover to cover went back and read it again immediately and also i listened to um metallica's snm <laughs> the whole time i read it so i was hyped as fuck when i read that book um that book like I went from being – that book took me from being a gutter punk into being someone a who fascist? was like – No. <laughs> <laughs> but I did come away from the book being like, fuck the bugs, which is bad. You're technically supposed to – it's supposed to reveal your bias. Either you're a fascist or you're um, – uh, or you see that we're the bad guys. Those are the two mindsets. And I, I think I – I don't think I fell too far in one way or the other, but I saw the – um. The, the themes of like brotherhood, uh, the themes of like um, family, military, and, and bros. there's like forgiveness, and then there's like earning what you have, and like how how important um, togetherness and community, and like uh, I don't want to say nationalism, but like there's so. What's much... wrong with nationalism? No, I, honestly, I don't. It, you can take it too far, but. Yeah, I agree. I mean, what about every New Yorker who's like, fucking New York? (laughs) No, I agree that it's good. The togetherness um, is good. Brooklyn's the best place on New York. Well, they're wrong, but... um, That's because we're Queens. Yeah, yeah, dude. Fuck Brooklyn I saw King of Queens. I'm like, I gotta move there. (laughs) Um, Yeah, dude. That took me from being like this anarcho gutter punk, like, fuck everyone. We should just live in the jungle, which is so naive and stupid. It you works know? on an individual level. It does. But you get two people involved and <laughs> exactly. anarchy goes out the window. And it, well, I just think that like growing up, I didn't have a lot of like, I don't know. It's just so, this is so lame. I just didn't have a lot of those things. So when I read the book, I was like, fuck, I want what he has. And um, I want that. I want the like, I want to earn respect and togetherness. And I want to be like a part of something. And then um, it like ad- affected the way I went forward into adulthood completely. And then, um, of course, I was still a sketchy guy who stole from Hollywood video. But (laughs) at least I also, on the reverse end, did, like, have loyalty to my friends and wanted to be, like, accepted into a group but also was wary of authority. And, like, I don't know. I feel like it made me a more well-rounded person. Starship Troopers, everyone. Go uh, read the book. The the movie is nothing like the book. The movie is also really good. The movie is also really good. It predicted... The invasion of the Middle East. It did. And also, <laughs> the book and the movie are 100 million. Per, like, they're almost indistinguishable from each other in a lot of ways. But the goal of both, the thought project of both, comes through. Because the idea when you read the book or watch the movie is that you either agree with the humans or you see what the humans are in terms of what they're up to. Damn, that movie's so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the uh, yeah, exactly. It's crazy. So, um, hey, we're out of time. We no, have a bunch more questions. Read, read a few more. Well, There's we no could just save limit. them for next time. Nah, let's read a few more. Oh my god. Okay. Well, if you're having fun, I'm not gonna I'm stop not, you. But <laughs> <laughs> these are for the fans. Oh my god. Well, we could just do them later. My fan. Um, let's see. When when gaming, do you loot everything, finish all quests, or do you try and finish quick? Yeah, you're right. We should uh, end it here. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, baby. No, that um, question stinks. <laughs> uh, I don't play games anymore. I you're a fucking liar. What have I played, dude? You've played Risk of Rain two. You played Near Autonoma. You played. I didn't uh, finish any of those. Well, just because you didn't finish, you're a bad. I've it. actually just, like hundred percent at Risk of Rain too. <laughs> yeah, but that's because it's still an early access you, game. You're just because you're bad at games doesn't mean you're not playing them. I'm you not bad also at games. I'm played World of Warcraft for twenty minutes and quit. It no, stinks. you played for more than twenty minutes. All right, two hours. Um, what else have you played? You've played a bunch of stuff, so I don't want to fucking hear it from you. Yeah, I'm not a completionist. 
Um, what was the question? Who cares? I'm a completionist with certain things. Uh, I'm actually like planning on doing The Witcher 3, 100%ing The Witcher 3 pretty soon here. Wow, that's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to collect every, yeah, yeah, it's every gonna... feather on the map. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Name every horse and they get beat all the... Gwent people. Oh, yeah, you, Gwent you is the name of the... card game. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, dude, you get way into a card game inside of a game. Play Yu-Gi-Oh! in the game. <laughs> it's so... Di- I agree you with gotta you. You got to craft all the daggers. Dude, it's so... There's so much bullshit tediousness in video games. That's what I hate about, like, 100%. Well, I mean, there's bullshit tediousness, but that's, like, optional. So yeah, so don't in, do it, because it's not fun. Just well, play the normal game. No, if you're, like, in love with the game and, like, it, it's fulfilling to you to do that, then, yeah, do Collect it. Collect all 900 Karak. Karok seeds in the <laughs> Zelda. That yeah, game's dude. good, but not collecting all the things. I agree with you there. Um. Anyway, I gotta play Red Dead before I do that, though. Do you want to end now? No, that question was bogus. We gotta find a better question. Okay, that was the pee in the butt thing again. So, well, Two many, people asked that. Three people asked about peeing in butts, dude. Oh, why? Why do people want to get Those peed on? Fans. So, but I know they are. Um, Were they all dudes? No. Two of them were girls. All right. They need to meet up with that dude. Okay. Here's a question. This is the last question. Thoughts on the BDSM community? What's your role if you have one? Hmm. My role? Yeah. What's your role? Well, as an Eagle Scout, I think I'd be the guy that ties those weird Japanese knot You'd be girders. The, you're the Indian guide. What? <laughs> the BDSM is a your... No, what are, you know the rope shibari? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's what it's called. Where like girls are like they tie up the ropes around their tits and then wear it in public BDSM, underneath their clothes. The B, I think she means one of three roles: sub, missive. Oh, see, that's how like out of, <laughs> how I love that you were, like assigning yourself a world, a class, a Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> BDSM I'm, class. I'm not into BDSM. I'm, I'm a knot tire, and I'm I want old. to multi class into come on face guy. That's no. what I want to do. And multi-class into like <laughs> leather working <laughs> the, no the i forgot that was, um, i'm not a dom i'm not a sub i'm just here to have a good time <laughs> <laughs> so you're not you're not on the media no, i just know of it <laughs> i know of all the horrific and fun things they do so I know a lot about the BDSM community and i've uh done a lot of BDSM stuff because i've like casually dated i've never like been in a serious relationship with someone who's deep into it and i don't think I have ever you ever been would. a sub no have you ever been a dom yes have you ever been a well, switch hitter i was gonna say Can you be a dom I'm, sub if i was gonna be something it'd probably be a switch but i don't like <laughs> is that thing. real yeah where you're like all right you now accident- it's my- dude are you serious you <laughs> I don't accidentally know. discover yeah i don't discover i'm just dominant submissive and switch someone who does both Anyway, how do you switch? Do you like tag team each other off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like now I'm on top. Honestly, what if you both are feeling dumb in the I, moment? You fight. <laughs> you have what to if, fucking. If you're play both Gwent. subs, <laughs> then like nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, you just, just kind of sit there like, oh, oh. <laughs> um, d- honestly, dude, I, I'm. When I was younger, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, hell yeah, you want to get tied up? I'll it's fuck too your much face. Work. Uh, yeah, go into the dog crate and wait till I get home. Like oh. it's so stupid. I here's whatever you're into, you're into, and like yeah, I'm just lazy. Fucking more power to you, same dude. <laughs> I'm fucking too lazy. I'm so vanilla. I straight up am just like you're not so vanilla. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not, vanilla. <laughs> no, you're vanilla. I'm open to whatever. If I'm dating someone, I'm in a serious relationship. I'll perv out on pretty much anything that isn't poop. Ew. Or blood. I don't want blood around. I could do blood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, listen, I'll have sex with someone who's on their period, but I'm not, like, trying to get the blood involved. No, being a vampire would be cool. <laughs> See yeah. the appeal with that. Is yeah. vampire, are they doms or subs? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but they both, maybe. I feel like dom if you're going to bite someone. I want to turn into a bat. <laughs> <laughs> turn into a bat and fuck the bat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it's one possibility. Um, yeah, dude. I, I'm also. I mean, b- by a BDSM person's uh, standards, like a person who's actually 
involved in like the quote unquote community of BDSM. What is that? Uh, Fat life? Yeah, like people who like make it a part of their lifestyle because it's not just a sexual thing. It's like an everyday thing for them. Oh, it's so. It's much like work. a part of their identity. It's their hobby. Their hobby is weird sex stuff. Which is cool for them. Like, fuck yeah, I have a hobby. I wish I had a hobby. Dude, BDSM is so much cooler than not having a hobby than being the girl I was on a date with who was like, oh, I don't even know. I watch Friends. Yeah, or, or someone who watches Friends. Fuck that. But people who are like, I need you to inject sili- like silicone into my tits so that they grow. No, and I, I'm actually going to date the girl who likes those. Friends. How <laughs> 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 about that boring? <laughs> Just lay there, sex. Dude, it's too much. So I'm very vanilla. I'm open to whatever. I've, you know, I've, I choke like everyone I sleep with because they ask me to. I don't know. Everyone wants to get choked and like spit on, and I'm into those things. But like, I'm so vanilla, and I'm, I don't like to be demeaned. I, I really, really don't like it. So I'm maybe you'd love it. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I like want a partner. I want some. When I have sex, I'm like, can you just be as as like active a participant as I am? That's all I want. So, like, give, you know, be passionate. I don't know. You don't, uh, want, a, you don't want a lazy lover. I don't want a lazy lover. Join the club. <laughs> yeah, no shit. So, anyway, um, sorry to disappoint you because I'm sure you thought I would have a cooler answer than yeah, that. Yeah, you got to do one more question. Uh, what? You got to end on a high note. Mm, I don't know about – this is so bad – Oh, this one's good. Here's a question. This is a real question that I'm almost afraid to ask you because I, I, I know what your answer is already, it. and I'm going to tell you that I'm right after you say No, it. say my answer no, for me. No, fuck you. I'm not going to do it. I'll whisper whis- it <laughs> so I can't hear <laughs> What's, What's the question? Okay, this guy, this guy is reaching out genuinely, okay? So don't be mean to him or like no, what? No, <laughs> no, I'm just telling you that he's being – I'm just saying that this is a real question. Is it about me specifically? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's just like, you know, what's the deal with Mac? <laughs> the what's gr- the real deal? <laughs> he says, the girl I'm seeing trash my music degree as worthless. I mean – Fuck you. Is fuck you a good response? No, that's not a good response. That's not a good response. You can do better if you want to to hurt her feelings. Yeah, totally. So wait, he said he's seeing her? Yeah, he's seeing a girl, and she called his music degree worthless. And it hurt his feelings, clearly. Let's assume that, what, three dates you're seeing someone? Yeah. So she's not wrong, (laughs) but... (laughs) I mean, listen, a degree in music is interesting. No, it is better than a a lot of degrees. I don't know what you're going to... You have to be a music like ne- uh, genius nerd to oh, do it. Oh yeah, and he probably... I'm saying it's useless as in it's you're gonna have to. It's hard to get a job in music. I would assume. Yeah, I mean, you could be a sound engineer or do all kinds of other stuff though. But if all else, oh no, they don't have music teachers. I'm in gonna high say school anymore. if she's taking my route and being like, oh, that's useless because she wants like stability and what a is cool... this? Here's my question: What does this bitch do? Yeah, that's the way you ask her. Be like, what do you have a degree in? Yeah, yeah. What, what what if she's a... like, she's a double she's master's a... in psychology. She's or an astrophysicist. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, it's Angela Merkel. I'm dating <laughs> Angela. You're like, oh fuck. Um, yeah, need more context because that that could be anywhere from. She could be right, but she could also just be a bitch and trying to demean you. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like she's being rude, though. I don't know why. If it's like third date. Also, she could just be making a joke. I, I We need more context. But in the context that it looks like where your feelings are hurt and so she's being yeah. rude, fuck her. Yeah, don't say fuck you, but. Go back like, at her. We'll be like, what do you have a degree? Yeah, in? yeah. What are you doing? Where's all your money? And do you. And, or do you even like what you do? You know what my favorite is? Girls who I had been on dates with when I was like a struggling comedian. And they would be like, oh, so you just – you don't have a car and you do comedy sometimes? And then they would be a dental hy- – like a, a dental assistant. And I'm like – That's your favorite? Bitch, you fuck <laughs> – yeah, you fucking went to school to be a dental assistant and you're going to like razz me? Get no, the fuck dental assistants here. are cool because it's the most amount of money you can make for the least amount of school. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's just like <laughs> – That's a good racket to get into. I, I mean, as far as rackets go, but the, the girls asking me this are like passionate about nothing. It's like, okay – They're so passionate you, about money and you, not going to school. Oh, dude, that, I hate people like that. 
I hate, hate, fucking despise the... I'm trying to make as much money as I can so I can watch Friends. That's what that is. That girl did make a lot of money. Exactly, <laughs> dude. Fuck those hollow people. Maybe Ugh. that's why I don't like Friends. I don't make enough money. Dude, maybe. Friends has no jokes. I get why people like it. <laughs> it's comfy. It's but comfy. It, it doesn't yeah, make yeah. me laugh. It is. It is the comfiness of the office without the jokes of the office. And I the office is cringe. Yeah, yeah. Which I love. I, I. So I understand when people watch Friends that they feel like a sense of like warmth. It makes you feel like you have friends. <laughs> is that the idea? <laughs> it's a good friendship simulator. But um, it's not. It's not what that is. Yeah, your it's music bad. degree. In all seriousness, music is pretty tight. Yeah, uh, music is fucking cool. I respect anyone who can play anything because I can't. And my, that's, I mean, there's not a lot of people who can actually play music. So it's to, true to do a degree in that, that. That's awesome. Yeah, be mean to her, fuck her. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> what I say. You know what? If someone just comes ghost her, you, don't say uh, anything to her. Just ghost her after that, dude. That's the best. That's my technique. Now. Never. Well, if you if that's the ultimate power move, you don't even give them the satisfaction of an answer, dude. I love that. That's a shit. that's a what is that? Not a, that's like a art of the deal kind of yeah. thing where you just if someone says something and they're trying to get stuff out, you just be you just sit there in silence dude. and let them fester in the awkwardness. <laughs> that's my answer. Yeah, <laughs> don't tell her fuck you. Just all right. Yeah, just never talk Keep to making her again. music. Keep getting better. Fuck yeah, dude. I love that answer. You know, you just reminded me there was someone who was rude to me like two weeks ago, and I literally did that. I just ghosted them. Just leave. And I hadn't thought about them till just now. I had blocked them <laughs> on all social media and, and uh, wasn't talking to them, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah if your date's ignoring it's you, evil. just walk out. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> if they're being mean, just like, all right, see ya. Dude. You don't need to be mean to them. Exactly. Because if you're mean to them, then it'll just reinforce, like, they're like, oh, well, he's a jerk, and I'm, I'm doing what whatever like they'll justify it but if you just leave then yeah. they'll they'll start questioning like why what <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good move all right everyone we're out of here um please go uh rate us on itunes um we will read your reviews that is a real thing we will do so give us uh one to five stars we don't give a fuck just uh. give us stars at least two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, If you yeah. hate us, two. If you like us, at least four. <laughs> and we'll read your reviews. Um, so, yeah, go do that and follow us on uh, social media. I'm Shadozer, S-H-A-Y-D-O-Z-E-R on Instagram and Twitter. Mac? Just go to cowboyboys.rodeo. Yeah. and you. That's a real URL we got. <laughs> and you'll find all of our stuff there. Hell, yeah. All right, everyone. Fucking yeehaw. Yeehaw.